been at least maybe three weeks since I did one of these videos. Yeah, thanks so much for your lovely comments and likes and subscribers. Um, if you haven't, tap the button wherever it is. Like the video here, here, somewhere, I don't know. Like the video, subscribe, and yeah, let's just enjoy this renovation process together. Um, yeah, I thought I'd come on here today and talk to you guys about a little shopping spree that I went on. Mini shopping spree. Um, so if you can hear rustling, it's because baby girl's playing with a toy. Perfect timing. She's an actress, set for the stage. Yeah, anyway, so I went on a bit of a shopping trip for the house. So um, I went and braced the queues at Ikea. It took me about maybe 20, 30 minutes to get in. But yeah, it was well worth it because they had quite a few cool things that I picked up and just like, you know, essentials for the house, furnishings and things like that. So I went to Ikea, I went to HomeSense, and I went to, yeah, I think that was it. That was a long day considering we just went to two shops. I went with my mother-in-law who is equally as interested in home furnishings and interior design as I am. So she was a good or bad, depending on which way you look at it, shopping partner. I think this was literally my third or fourth time going to Ikea. The first time I went was last year. Yeah, I know. They've got some great stuff in there. <laughs> But you just have to balance it so you don't just walk into someone else's house and it's like, oh yeah, look, there's my exact living room. So um, yeah, I just tried to pick the odd thing rather than going ham. shopping trip that I went on but I bought it like the week before or something online but I got this cushion from me can you see it's kind of like a shaggy short pile shearling or something um, but I got this for Arrow's bedroom basically I wanted free delivery <laughs> I wanted free delivery and I was under by a pound so I had to spend 16 pound to get free delivery but I had a 10 pound off voucher so it kind of worked out I think I spent like six pounds over or something but I got this cushion as well. So you gotta be savvy guys. It's um, like woven on the back. Yeah, I really like it. So, so from HomeSense, I managed to pick up this, which I wasn't actually gonna get, but I quite like it. I don't know if you can see it's ribbed. It's like frosted glass. The reason I wasn't gonna get it because I was like, what is it? Apparently it's like a candle holder maybe. If you can see inside it's hollow. So you put the candle in, I guess this glows like a nice warm color. So I got this potentially for our bedroom. It was on sale. Oh no, it wasn't, but it was £10. Just a cute little addition. So maybe on our fireplace in our bedroom, I'll put it on there or something. Yeah. Also from HomeSense, I got a laundry basket for Arrow's bedroom, which I absolutely love. I've never seen anything like it in terms of the shape, but I love the way it's made as well. Oh, how cute is this? Can you guys see? It's like woven, maybe palm leaves or something. So my mum is from the Gambia and this reminded me of things I see when we go there. You know, they make loads of woven bowls and hats and umbrellas and stuff out of old palm leaves and stuff. So I really love this and I love how it like comes in and out. Um, so this was in the clearance, it was 30 pounds down to 20. So basically it had been reduced because it had another handle on this side so it was matching like this loop handle but it had half come off so i just took off the other like the rest of it i actually prefer it with one handle i think it looks cooler less obvious um so this is going to go in arrow's room for all of her laundry which is so cute 
So also from home then, I got a couple of cushions for her bedroom. I think I'm like cushion obsessive right now. You guys need to help me because I don't know whether I like this or not. So her bedroom's gonna be, I want it to be girly, but I don't want it to be like princessy, if that makes sense. Um, but then I saw this and I thought it's so cute. Is it cute or not? Nah? It's quite big. Um, it's like feathered down inside. Um, it's 17 pounds and yeah, a little bunny with like a flower crown on it. The back is this shade of blue. Um, I also kind of wanted all the cushions in her bedroom to be eclectic. I don't want them to match. I want them to go, but not to match. So I picked this up, but I'm really torn. I'm like, it's cute, but I don't know if it's her vibe. You get what I'm saying? And anyone who thinks babies don't have a vibe, they have a vibe. And then I got this one, which I really liked. Also from Home Sense, this was cheaper, I think. This was, this was 12.99. Um, yeah, it's smaller, it's cute. I like these little pom-poms. I love the color, it's like, can you see? It's like my acid pistachio color, which I've been trying to get for my bedroom, kind of. It's woven. It's woven, it's got a really nice texture. I'm all about texture. If something isn't made from nice material, I couldn't care less about the print or the design, like the material is everything for me. What do you think? Keep, yay or nay? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, just type in that you think. And my issue was, I know I said I don't want them to match, but they've got to go at least. And I feel like the styling is very different. This is quite like trendy and this is quite pretty. I feel like they go in two different bedrooms. I don't mind the colors, but I just think the styles aren't quite doing it together. So let me know which one I should keep or if I should take both of them back. So the other day when I was in B&Q and I was looking to get our paint match, do you remember? And I saw this lamp. Well, I didn't actually see this lamp. So this lamp um, is a touch lamp. It did not have this shade on it which is like a pleated shade. This is a my DIY job, so it had like a really plain lampshade on it. Um, they describe this color as cream. You and I both know that this is not cream. It's definitely like a green acid pistachio color. Bingo. So when we were in HomeSense, I saw this on its own, the shade on its own, and it was two pounds, people. Two whole British sterling pounds. So I just had to get it. I didn't even know if it fit, but I just thought it probably will. And if it doesn't, it's two pounds. I can give it to charity or whatever. So yeah, bought this and tried it. Love it. I think it makes the lamp look loads more premium. This lamp was eight pounds in the sale in B&Q. This was two pounds, 10 pounds, touch lamp, kids bedroom, done. Then I went to Ikea and I got these, which are Mosslander. I don't know what they're called, what are they called? Picture ledges, picture ledge. So I got six of these, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join them, I'll show you. This white stuff is just cardboard, obviously, um, but I'm gonna fit them so that they're flush. Um, it's like one meter 20 in total shelf. I've got six of them, so three shelves. I'm probably gonna put them in Arrow's bedroom. So the idea is to have two shelves quite high up in the alcove, and I'll have pictures, like framed photos of family like art and have like a chair, an armchair in there and a lamp and some flowers and stuff. And then low down under the big window in her bedroom, it goes quite low. I'm gonna put another two of these as a long shelf and have all of her books so that she can have access to them herself. Cause I'm quite keen to have stuff at her height so that she can just maneuver her bedroom herself. Oh, and also I chose black because I just thought, why not? The bedroom's gonna be pink. The door's white, the ceiling's white, the skirting boards are white, um, window frames are white. So I thought black can make it a little bit quite chic. And then this wasn't on the agenda, but I bought some pillows for our bedroom. They just suckered me in really, you know, they have them all on display. And I was walking out of the bedroom section and I just saw it and I pressed on it like, does this, it comes back to life really slowly. It's not memory foam, we already have two memory foam pillows, but they're really hard. They come with the mattress and we like them, but you know, when I'm dressing the bed up, I need to fluff it up, don't I? And this is probably the second set of about four pillows that we're gonna have on our bed. Um, I also just got some, while I was in the section, got some bed linen, some pillowcases uh, for our bedroom. 
that's not that interesting. And then I saw these little clothes hooks and they're gonna go in Arrow's bedroom. Don't have a clue what I'm gonna hang on them, but maybe like her towel and stuff. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Then I saw these cushions, which I don't know if you can see, but they look white, but they're like a linen, like a thick linen peach color. And they would look really good on our bed. Um, obviously we've got setting plaster walls, so these cushions, they come filled already. Um, yeah, really, really like them, like the shapes though. These are gonna be some of the ones before. Um, I still haven't found the perfect bed linen. We're working on it. And so I got two of these for our bedroom. Finally, we just swung by Dunelm. So basically I should just call this video like, look at my cushions because I bought another cushion. <laughs> I bought this. This is for Arrow's bedroom. Um, yeah, this was a bit more. It was 22 pounds. 22 pounds for a cushion, that's not, that, that, that's reasonable, I think. I don't know. I've not done home shopping like on this scale before. But yeah, it was from Dunelm. It's woven, it's pink, it's mustard, it's a bit of gray. Got that neutral, like calico base underneath. Yeah, I'm liking it. And I think I didn't do this intentionally, but inadvertently, they look quite cute together, don't they? This is the vibe. Yeah. So comment below which cushions you like and which you don't. And then there's a bunch of other stuff which is downstairs and I'm on the top floor and it's just was already like exhausting bringing this stuff upstairs. Yeah, it's Ikea flat pack stuff. So I'll just be showing you boxes at this moment. So I will show you the images from the website, talk you through what I bought and why. So first I got this Kaya stool from Ikea. It's like a black wooden looking stool with three legs. Um, I think it looks quite trendy. You could use it as a little side table. Um, then I got this kids little book stand which I thought would be really cute. It matches all the furniture of the cot and stuff in Arrow's room um, and good for her height. Then I found this which was on sale. I think it was like £25 or something. It's actually not on the website anymore. It's a really low level benchy uh, chair kind of thing. Um, again great for her room and then I got this little kids table and chair set which it's going to be really useful for when she starts doing arts and crafts and stuff like that. But yeah, thanks so much for watching as usual. Those of you that have made it to the end, well done you. I guess this is called a haul, isn't it? Yeah, shopping haul, cushion haul, something. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow at Big White House. I will also link all of the products that I bought so you can find them if you would like them as well. If I can find them, that is. Some of the things are in clearance or sales, so it might be tricky, but I'll at least let you know where I got them from and prices and stuff. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you so much for all your love. Until next time, see you. Mwah.